birthday of the famous mathematician Srinivasa Ramanujan. He was born in Tamil Nadu, India in the year 1887. Prime Minister Manmohan Singh declared the state as the National Mathematics Day in 2012. This day was dedicated to his significant contributions to the mathematics to the government of India. Mathematics is a cradle of creation without which the world cannot move an inch. Everyone needs mathematics in their day-to-day -day life. A cook, a farmer, a merchant, a carpenter, a shopkeeper, a doctor, a scientist, an engineer, a musician, a magician. Yes, without any doubt, we can say that they all use maths. Every insect uses mathematics in their everyday life for existence. Snails make their shells, pyro design their labs, and bees build hexagonal combs. It's sure that there are countless examples of mathematical patterns in nature's fabric. Now it's time to invite the person who is the driving force behind all our success, who makes us top notch in each and every field. Yes, our beloved principal who is a cut about the rest. Good morning everyone, dear teachers, students and parents, a very celestial morning to everyone. National Mathematics Day is celebrated every year on December 22nd to honor the birth anniversary of mathematical genius Srinivas Ramanujan. He made extraordinary contributions to the world of mathematics. Mathematical analysis, number theory, infinite series, and continued fractions. Mathematics is the cradle of creations without which the world cannot move. There are countless examples of mathematical patterns in the nature's fabric. Anyone can be a mathematician with proper guidance and training in the formative period. A good curriculum of mathematics is very essential in effective teaching and learning of the subject. Learning mathematics can be made easier and enjoyable if our curriculum includes mathematical activities and games. Math puzzles and riddles encourage students and help them develop clarity in their thinking. Teachers 
should help the students to get clear concepts in mathematics right from primary classes. If a teacher fails here, then the child will develop a disliking or aversion toward the subject as he moves on to the higher classes. Hence, the teacher should help to develop a genuine interest in the students. Dear students and parents, this video is an attempt of our teachers and students to give our students an insight to mathematics. I wish all the very best to the students and to the Department of Mathematics. I wish a very happy National Mathematics Day to each and every one. Thank you everyone. Thank you very much. Mathematics makes our life orderly and prevents us from chaos. It provides creativity, power of reasoning, problem solving skills, and even spatial thinking and effective communication skills. Now, we are having a rainbow of programs. Let's watch and enjoy. Are some tricks to help you to become the wizard of mathematics. Good morning students. Do you know an easy method for dividing a number by 15? Let's see. For example, what's 125 by 15? Just double the number which is 50 so the answer the final answer is 2.50 let's try another one for example uh, 1 36 by 50 
Yes, we should double it. We get the answer as 272. Now, as I said, we should put a decimal point from the right side after two digits. So it will be 2.72. Another one. Three. Fifty by fifty. We will now double the number which is three fifty. We get the answer as seven hundred. Now, as I said again, we should put a decimal point after the la right sides two digits. So it will be the answer will be seven. Hello everyone, so today we are going to find an easy method to find the HSCF of given two numbers. So we usually do it by prime factorization method or factor tree. But here we have another easy method. Let's see. So the numbers are 12 and 8. So while doing this 12 and 8, first of all these are the numbers. So just find their difference that is 12 minus 8. So 12 minus 8 is 4. So 4 is the HCF of 12 and 8. Let's do another example. Now, what about the HCF of 18 and 36? As I told you, find the difference between 18 and 36. That is 36 minus 18. So we know that it is 18 itself. So 18 is the factor of 18 and 36. Now, let's do the final example. That is 21 and 35. So, find the difference between 35 and 21. That is 35 minus 21, that is 14. But while checking to the number 14, uh, it is not the uh, factor of 35 or it is not the factor of 21. So, what you have to do in this uh, case means, here find the factors of number 14. Find the factors of number 14. And it is 2 comma 7. 2 and 7 are the factors of the number 40. But while checking on to these two numbers, you know 2 will never be the factor of 35 or 21. So what will be the factor of 35 and 21? 7. As you all know, 7 into 5 is 35. And 7 into 3 is 21. So uh, 21 and 35, these numbers HCF is 7. So hope everyone understood. And this is an easy method to find the HCF of any numbers when uh, any numbers are given. So, thank you. Counting the number of triangles. Can you tell the number of triangles in the given figures? First one. How many triangles are here? And what about in this? How many triangles are here? And can you tell the number of triangles in this figure? Do you know? For that, here, 1, 2 and add it. 1 plus 2 that's equal to 3. So, 3 triangles are here in this first one. And what about the second one? For that, write 1, 2, 3 and add it. 1 plus 2 plus to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So, 6 triangles start here. And what about here? 1, 2, 3, 4. And add it. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So, 10 triangles start in this one. Thank you. Hello everyone. Do you know the multiplication term of 6? So, today we are going to study the multiplication of 6 in an easy way. So, 6 into 4. We all know that 4 divided by 2 of uh, half of 4 is 
2. So just write the 2 here and put the 4 here. So we got 24. Let's check another example. So 6 into 6. We all know that a half of 6 is 3. So just write the 3 here and put the 6 here. So it is 36. So what about 6 into 8? So half of 8 is 4. And put the 8 here. So I hope you got an idea. So thank you. Multiplication is very interesting but sometimes doubtful. Yes. I'm here to introduce a easy trick to multiply two digit numbers. Let's start. 42 into 23. I'm here using a easy method. A cross multiplication down. I'll tell you what it is. 42 into 23 are cross multiplication down. That means 3 into 2. 3 into 2 is equal to 6. Now we have to do cross multiplication. 4 into 3 is equal to 12. 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Now we have to add these two numbers. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. So we will put the 6 here and the 1 we will carry on. Now down. 4 into 2. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. 8 plus 1, 9. The answer is 966. Next, we are going to do one more example. 27 into 24. 27 into 24. Now we will do the same method. A cross multiplication down. A 4 to 7 is equal to 28. 8 will put it here and 2 will write there. Now we will do the cross multiplication. 2 into 4 is equal to 8. 2 into 4 is equal to 8 7 into 2 is equal to 14 Now we will add these 3 numbers We have to add 2 plus 8 plus 14 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 10 plus 14 is equal to 24 24 Now we will put the 4 here And the 2 will carry on now we will do the down. 2 into 2. 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 4 plus 2, 6. The answer is 648. You can see that this is a simple easy trick. With practice, you can do this trick fastly. Let me show you a fun and easy mathematical trick. 1 into 1 equals 1. 11 into 11 equals 1 to 1. 111 into 111 equals 1 to 3 to 1. Now, 1111 into 
also 111. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, 11,111 into 11,111 equals, can you guess? Say with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Isn't it so fun? Let us do an addition to 10 grams. It's invented in China approximately 200 years ago. It's a two dimensional rearrangement created by cutting a square into seven pieces. A 10 gram is a puzzle consisting of seven flat shapes, which can be put together to form pictures, letters, or numbers. The objective of the puzzle is to form a specific shape using all seven pieces. The rules of the 10 gram puzzle are that all seven shapes in the puzzle must touch and none should overlap. The pieces in the 10 gram are two large triangles, two small triangles, one medium triangle, one parallelogram, and one square. How to add is a big problem for small kids. Let us see how easily we can add two numbers. Hi friends, this is Symbol Max Addition Scape. Let's see how it works. We have to solve these questions. First question is 4 plus 4. Let's see how it works. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. And the second question is 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 equals 7. Third question is 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And the fourth question is 3 plus 0. Three plus zero is equal to three. And next one is three plus one. Three plus one equal to four. The next last question is five plus four. Five plus four equal to nine. Did I? 
we can find out the all answers from this symbol max addition scale. Thank you. A long time ago, a Greek mathematician named Pythagoras discovered an interesting property about right angles. It says that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of legs of the triangles. about the value of pi. It's the mathematics constant that is used to solve problems generally related to circles. Its value is fixed. Are you struggling to remember pi value? Here is the trick. And just remember this line. May I have a large coffee bean, a large container of coffee beans. May equal to 3, I equal to 1, for a half equal to 4, a Container equal to 9, off equal to 2, coffee equal to 6, beans equal to 5. We wrote in, we write in pi value equal to 3.1415965. And how was my easy peasy idea? Zero. It's a strange number. But one of the greatest paradoxes of human thought. Let's lend our ears to a wonderful story. I'm here to present a story about zero. One same great mathematician called up a meeting for all numbers. Every number came except for zero. The mathematician said everyone, where is zero? Everyone replied, I don't know. And the mathematician said, go find zero. They f after some time, they found zero hiding behind the trees and the mathematician asked zero, why didn't you come to the meeting? And the zero cryingly said, I have no value, I have no respect, no one plays with me. <laughs> and the mathematician said, don't cry, every number has each value. And he first thinked and smiled at zero and called number one to stand the left side of zero and to uh, told everyone to say what number is it. Everyone say it's 10. And say, uh, the mathematician asked zero to stand left side of the under zero and uh, told everyone to say the number again and they all replied hundred then the mathematician said to zero the number of zeros increases the value of the number increases in this year of tolerance uh, we learn it, it teaches that to respect other people who are different from you and treat everyone fairly. Thank you. Mathematics is a tune of science. It is a music of reason. Pure mathematics is, in its own way, the poetry of logical ideas. It is the only true metaphysics. Besides, it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. So let's celebrate National Mathematics Day, keeping aside all the fears for math and embracing the subject with love. The best thing about mathematics is that it is very simple once you understand it. So wishing you a very happy Mathematics Day.